directors, masters. So both um, or not yes. <laughs> Let's ask you a question. Is any time in your life you would like to have a little bit more willpower? Yeah? Last Friday I could have done a little bit more willpower. I was there in the car park munching a donut. I was thinking to myself, why? <laughs> well, a little bit. And then a homeless man came up to me and looked at me, teary eyed, and said, I haven't eaten for two days. I said to him, I admire your willpower. talk about willpower's dirty little secret. It's Achilles heel, if you like, in the hope that by learning the dirty little secret, you can actually manage your willpower better in the future. Now, before we get going, I'd like to ask the audience here, are you passionate? Uh -huh. are, you, are you? Let's see a show of hands. Are you passionate? Yes. Come on. Everybody's hands should be up. Hi, hi, come on. Who likes chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, keep your hand raised if you'd like to come on stage and eat a bar of chocolate. <laughs> Dini, you need to be invited. <laughs> Go on, Alison. I have to take notes while we're doing it. Oh, right, okay, that's fine. Well, Dini, you need to get the chocolate bar. Oh. Yes, a real bar of chocolate. Is genuine, is it not? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it's real. It's real. Would you like to tell me how that smells? Gorgeous. Delicious. Delicious. Yes. Mr. Sharp? It smells like a galaxy bar. It smells like a galaxy bar. Anything else you'd say about your smell? Tell us how it feels eating that bar of chocolate. I feel good. Yes? I don't feel guilty because I'm young, so I can burn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bar steward. <laughs> well, I'm actually recreating a very famous psychological experiment from 1996 by Bernstein. I'm sure I've mispronounced his name. If you want to Google it, it is actually the Cookies and Radish study. This actually was a groundbreaking study on ego depletion. And what he did, he separated uh, his students into three groups. The first group, he actually into uh, actually had baked cookies in the background and he gave them baked cookies. So I've substituted English ingredients, obviously chocolate and food. The second group, he then subjected them to the smell of the baked cookies but gave them radishes. And the third group, he did nothing to them. He just asked them to complete a task and monitored how long it took them to do the task. Being a simple psychologist, the task was impossible to so what he was measuring was actually the time it took them before they gave up. The control group, if you like, actually lasted 21 minutes before they, on average, before they gave up on the task. How are you feeling? Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> With good conviction. I mean, you describe yourself as someone sort of who's quite focused. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Focused. You're focused. How long do you think Alison's group lasted before they actually gave up? I'll give you three choices. Eight minutes, 14 minutes, 18 minutes. 14. Right. Do you want to vote for eight minutes? Who would vote for 14 minutes? Who would vote for 18 minutes? The actual answer is eight minutes. Just a 
smelling cookies, just smelling cookies and being given radishes altered your ability to focus and stay on, on time, altered your willpower. Now, willpower's dirty little secret is that it uh, behaves like a battery. And many times during the day, we, our batteries are affected simply by sort of the kids playing up, being stuck in traffic, the boss having a go at our co co-worker. All of that starts to nibble away at our willpower battery. To complete the test, how long do you think uh, Mr. Shah's group did? I'll give you three choices. 18 minutes, 21 minutes, the same as the control group, or 25 minutes. Who votes for 18? Who votes for 21? Who votes for 25? 18 minutes. Oh. Now that's surprising, isn't it? He's, he was promised the reward, and he got the reward, and yet it's affected his willpower. Now, Alison's been a good sport. Should we give her a chocolate bar? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no, we shouldn't. Why is <laughs> Oh no, we shouldn't. Oh yes, we should. <laughs> oh no, we shouldn't. Oh yes, we should. Oh, don't anticipating it. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. Thank you very much. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. To sum up, Willpower's dirty little secret is that it behaves like a battery. We may start off with a, a full charge at the beginning of the day, but during the day, things happen to deplete our willpower. But there's one piece of good news. It's rechargeable. That little bit of pantomime we just did actually helped recharge the room. Did you feel the energy in the room rise? Yeah. Did you feel the energy in yourself rise? Yeah. No matter how contrite it is, you can actually recharge your willpower.